At a time of seemingly unprecedented partisanship between Republicans and Democrats, at least one objective appears to draw bipartisan approval, rejecting Donald Trump's continued support for Riyadh. On Thursday, the U.S. Senate passed a resolution directing the president to end U.S. military support in the Saudi-led conflict in Yemen. Senators on both sides of the aisle hailed the move as an historic statement about Congress's constitutional responsibility in matters of war. Today, what the United States Senate said in a very loud way that we will not continue to have our military posture dictated by a despotic, murderous regime in Saudi Arabia, a regime which does not respect democracy, does not respect human rights. Despite support from Republicans, Democrats and independents alike, U.S. President Donald Trump is expected to veto the resolution, making it largely symbolic in nature. Immediately after the resolution on Yemen, the Senate approved a second measure, blasting Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman for the death of Jamal Khashoggi. Unanimously, the United States Senate has said that Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman is responsible for the murder of Jamal Khashoggi. That is a strong statement. I think it speaks to the values that we hold dear. The measure is a direct challenge to President Trump's repeated refusal to condemn the prince for the gruesome killing.